curiosity, I think, is, is just another way of saying, you know, you love the world. As far as I can remember, back when I was a kid, I've always been interested in the world around me. And I was always, um, always getting books about uh, nonfiction things. And my third grade teacher asked us all to write a story. And so I wrote an, a, a little encyclopedia about dinosaurs. And when I turned it in, she said, you know, Michael, this isn't a story. This is not what I asked you to do. And I remember being so angry about that because that's what I wanted to do. I'm Mike Moore, I'm a professor of biology at Oberlin College, and uh, I study the evolutionary relationships of plants, and I teach courses in introductory biology and plant systematics. Systematics is the study of organismal diversity. Consequently, systematics uh, uses tools from all over biology. What we want to do is bring all these different lines of evidence to bear on questions relating to the evolutionary history of different organisms. We're trying to understand the history of life on Earth. Kids grow up generally without any real awareness of plants. And, and I call that plant blindness. So what I like to do is to, to, to teach them very, very cool things about plants and, and constantly uh, you know, be a plant geek and uh, tell them how exciting plants are and show them cool plants. And, and by the end of the semester, I think a lot of them have sort of uh, awoken about plants. My research is, involves understanding um, the um, evolution and origin of plants that grow on unusual soils in North American deserts. Most people think of, of deserts as place, places that are barren of life, but in fact they're incredibly rich in life and, in, and the diversity of plants that grow in deserts is very, very high. Uh, frequently in the late summer, uh, I take uh, two or three Oberlin students to the Chihuahuan Desert and uh, we collect plants and bring leaf samples back to Oberlin and students then isolate DNA from them to um, to sequence or determine the particular letters, the DNA letters, uh, for, for very specific genes. When we have that evolutionary tree, we can then ask questions about uh, not just the plants themselves, but actually the entire origin and evolution of the uh, plant communities. It's not really research unless you're answering important or interesting questions about the world. Plants are amazing, amazing things. They they can't get up and move, and many, many things eat them, and yet we're surrounded by them. And I think that's a fascinating thing. How do plants manage to survive? There's a never-ending flow of interesting questions. The most important thing you can do in your life is to follow, uh, you know, follow a path that you really love, right? You have to be excited about what you're doing. I would love for all of my students to be botanists. We need lots of them, but I know that all of them will not be. But I try to show them all the time how cool plants are and hope that some of them will, will, will catch the bug. <laughs>